What is up, everybody? Skyrim PK here, bringing you um, the most important facts on the uh, new Tazar Kiln update. Now, I am not the level to go into the kiln and fight the two judge and the big octopus thing, so I'm not going to be showing you that, but I will show you where it is, also along with the uh, quest location. Yeah, the new quest is actually really interesting because the um, requirements aren't that high. I think it's a uh, 41 mining, 75 magic. 60 something and or 60 agility and I think that's it. It's a master level quest. You have to kill two level 360s. Besides that, um, it's not that hard, especially considering the rewards. If you do it before February 29th, you get um double XP for I don't know how long. Um, you also get uh a 100,000 XP lamp to spend in, on any of your combat skills, which I find is really really helpful. Um, along with mining, agility, and magic XP. So all in all, I'd say, yeah, definitely go out and do the quest if you have the requirements. It's definitely a good quest. I know I'm going to be getting the requirements and hopefully doing it soon. Um, Yeah, other than that, I also apologize for the lag. Normally, my computer runs these graphics just fine, just not while I'm recording. But I still wanted to show the high graphic settings. I'll also be showing the uh, lower graphic settings at a later time in this video. Um, Basically, there's the quest start right back there. You see it on the mini-map there. Um... Around here, I guess there are a bunch of uh, Tazar creatures, and yeah, they all look—they all look a lot better than they did before. They look a lot taller than you as a character. They look more detailed. They almost look like they don't belong in RuneScape. That's how good they like, graphically enhanced they are compared to other monsters in RuneScape. Um, yep. So there is the quest start area. There is also um the sword shop or like their weapon shop right down there. The weapons are changed, and to be honest, I don't like the look of the new Tazar weapons, like the Obi Maul and the Obi Shield and everything like that. I don't know if I like those too much, but, you know, I'm going to get used to them as the game goes on. Um, Up here, I believe, is the uh, Fight Cave entrance. I've also, uh, just a quick update on my character, I have bought the uh, Full Fungal Ancient Staff to the Desert Treasure Quest, uh, Ceridoman Cape, and uh, Wizard Boots Mage Book. Yeah, that's my full mage gear, also along with the Sears ring, gives me like a plus 106 mage magic bonus or something like that. There's the entrance to the quest, and for the quest, in case you all wanted to know, or not the quest, sorry, the, uh, the fight kiln where you go and kill the two jads and the octopus, like the impossible shit that I'll never be able to do. Yeah, um, also in my pack I got the, uh, Zeros or Ancient Book or whatever the hell you want to call it, the purple book. Yeah, that, um, you get that from Horror from the Deep. I got that. It filled up the Guthix book in that book because I can't afford the, uh, Samurai book. Yeah, and I just cut it into, like, the main part of the city here. This is like, the main plaza area. Um, for some weird reason, players always stand in the middle. I don't know if, like, something happens there in the quest in the middle. Like, I'm not entirely sure what goes on. Um, in the plaza, there is, like, a rune shop, a magic shop, and a bank. I'll show you the bank location, too. I like in the new Tazar City, there are two banks now. The one is down this way, I think. Yep, there's the one bank right there. And the other bank is um uh, by the uh, original fight cage, where you fight the one Jad, which still seems impossible for me. Yeah, um, also, uh, yeah, another thing about this is safe spots are still there. I don't know if Jagex will patch them in the future. I hope not, because I really think they should let some lower levels come down here and try out on the new Tazar creatures. Especially since you can't attack the level 74 ones without getting ganked by a bunch of level 100s. So yeah, there are safe spots, and I will show them later on in the video. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, also another update on my stats here. I haven't worked on my mage too, too much. I got the 82 mage, the uh, uh, 21 summoning. Uh, yeah, that's about all I've got. 44 defense, I'm going up to 40... Or 55 defense, so I can wear the Griffolic armor. It looks sweet, and it gives a sick mage bonus and sick defense bonus for my level, which will be great. Um. Also, a word to my subscribers. Yes, all of you two subscribers out there. Um, tomorrow is the deadline for my uh 500k contest, courtesy of uh my clan leader, also Skyrim PK. Um. Um, you will win 500k if you subscribe. Only, so far, only one person has subscribed besides Skyrim PK, and that's uh, IV Defiant. So IV Defiant, if you're watching this video, you most likely are going to get this 500k unless someone subscribes, and then it's a 50-50 chance or whatever, however many people subscribe. I'll make it fair, and I'll make sure you get your money, and I'll be vidding it too so I can post it up after. When I say I'm going to do a giveaway, I don't lie, I don't bullshit, but my giveaways aren't huge. Like, I'm not like Spark Mac or anything. I don't have a shit ton of money to give away. 
but I do want to help the people in this game. I'm not a dick in this game. I'll help people out, even if they're like crazy rich. I'll give them money if they subscribe. I want people watching my videos, seeing the way I play the game. Yeah, so subscribe. It's a free 500k. I don't see why you wouldn't subscribe. It's good videos, funny videos, the best videos on YouTube. Well, that's a lie, but maybe one day I'll be as good as like Chris Archie. That'd be sweet. Maybe one day I'll get on Chris Archie. That's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to get on Chris Archie and then uh, worry about becoming Chris Archie. Yep, I have my uh, pet, the desert worm here. And right here, I'm at the safe spot, actually. I don't have any runes to cast a spell, but if you were standing right where I was before, you can actually lure the um, Tazar uh, uh, Ket, the big ones, behind the rock and... You can just attack them there with major range, and it looks like they're going to be able to hit you, but you actually can't. Anyways, that concludes this video, people. Oh, um, also, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, y'all should uh, quit watching my video and um, get laid already before the end of the day. Yeah, peace, guys. Yeah, peace, guys. Stand up, yo. Get ready for this. Are you ready for him? I know he's ready for you. God is good. <laughs>